Ezekiel chapter 44 verse 23. And they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and profane and cause them to discern between the unclean and the clean. Verse 24. And in controversy, they shall stand in judgment, and they shall judge it according to my judgments, and they shall keep my laws and my statutes in all mine assemblies, and they shall hallow my Sabbaths. I want to give all praise, on, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone who rule well, who teach this gospel and push this gospel to the four corners of the earth. Peace and salutation, hope, elect the house of Israel. Tabernacle of David. Shalom. Now, um, I want to do something with this little TikTok video that I just uh, ran across coming to us from Mark the Messenger. He's a messenger, all right. But it is, but he's a messenger of the left hand side, not the right hand side, which is the righteous side. Okay, and we can even determine that, even not so much with his speech for a person who just awakened to the knowledge of the truth and don't know no better, but his appearance will let us know up front that he is doing his own thing. He is not submitting to the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim and Rashad. And I just want to put it out that you Native Americans, Negroes, Latinos, so-called Hispanics, are the children of Israel, and we determine that by the curses of Deuteronomy 28, verse 15, through the 68th verse. We are the only people on earth that fit these curses, and I mean all of them. Okay? All right? Uh, now, um... I'm actually getting ready to go to work real soon. I've been up early this morning doing a few things that I really need to get done and whatnot. And uh, I'll be leaving here in a few minutes, but um, <coughs> I want to do, <coughs> I want to push something out. I want to do a lesson this morning and <coughs> grab my phone because I'm doing a little work outside and I just want to keep abreast of the time so I won't be late to work. And um, this is like the third or fourth TikTok that I seen, and I went right into it. So all praise to Yahweh, Rashim, 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 Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the name of our Father, our Creator in ancient Hebrew, who the world refers to as God. Bahashem in the name of Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior in ancient Hebrew, who the world refers to as Jesus. The letter J was invented in 1634. What name? Did the children of Israel call on for him to deliver the children of Israel out of Egypt? And damn sure didn't start with no J. Because the letter J wasn't even here yet. What is his name? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh And the Rakah Kodash is the Holy Spirit in ancient Hebrew. Rakah is spirit and Kodash is, he is, slaki, is holy. Remember, Hebrew reads from right to left. Okay, now... Let's get with this, um, with this video of right quick, okay? And Ezekiel 44, 24 says, And in controversy they shall stand in judgment. And why is that? Because the world doesn't agree with Yahweh Bashim You can find that in 1 John 2, 2, 15 on down. The world doesn't agree with Yahweh Bashim John 14, 15, If you love me, keep my commandments. And we are the children of Israel. Let's get a few more precepts up front. Deuteronomy. I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to get, I'm get the scripture to prove to you who the children of Israel are. And how our power, Yahweh Bashem and Mashiach, looks at us. How does he view us? The Bible says we are the apple of his eye. Okay, let's get it. Prove it. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. And, and you see there, it says warnings. These are warnings. To who? The children of Israel. But well, we're, we, we're going to pull it. We're going to pull it right now. <coughs> <coughs> 
For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy power, thy God, that thy God hath chosen thee. Who is thee, children of Israel? Our power hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. In the kingdom, the sons of Jacob, the sons of Jacob, the 144,000, will be ruling over the people in the kingdom. Okay? So he has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, a people that is above all the other people on the earth. But due to the curses that are upon our people right now, that Yahweh Shem Shah put upon us for not wanting to keep his commandments, and wanting to serve other gods, idolatry, we are now on the bottom. we supposed to be on the top. Okay? Now, Deuteronomy 77, The Lord power did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people. For ye were the fewest of all people. You know as well as I know, if you think back real quick, if you not think back, but if you think, just think about it. If you have a landmass and you have some people over here, they are of a particular type of people, and it's two million of them. Okay? All right? And you got another mass of people, and it's 1.3 million of them. There's other, these other people over here, 800,000 of them, <clears throat> and these other people over here, there's about 8 million of them. Then you got this people, <clears throat> similarly speaking of the children of Israel, hell ain't but, ain't but 122,000 of them. What do you think going to happen? <clears throat> what do you think going to happen over time? <clears throat> Those p other nations are going to begin to rule over them. And they ain't going to have no ifs, ands, buts about it. They ain't going to be able to contest it. They ain't, no. You see what I'm saying? And that's how the children of Israel are. Okay? About, around, in, 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 uh, in context of all the other nations on the earth. That's why he says, The Lord power did not set his love upon you, nor choose you, because ye were more in number than any people. For ye were the fewest of all people. Verse 8. But because the Lord power loved you, because he would keep the oath which he swore unto your fathers, has the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you out of the house of bondmen from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Okay, and we're now in Babylon, the great spiritual Babylon. <coughs> Those of us who are called, okay, and who are chosen. For the Bible says, many are called, but few are chosen. Those of us who are called and chosen and repent of their deeds and of the, of the evil ways of their hands. Yahweh Shem is going to, once again, he is going to redeem the children of Israel, the hopeful elect, the one-third of Zechariah 13 and 8, from the earth as destruction cometh upon Babylon the Great in World War III. Okay? And he is going to also, he is also going to, going to deliver us from the Pharaoh, king of Egypt. You might say, well, wait a minute. Now, hell, we, we in America, we in Babylon the Great. Is not America known as spiritual Solomon, spiritual Egypt? Because Exodus 22, let's get there right quick. Exodus 22. Exodus 22 tells us what? Exodus 22 tells us what? Exodus 21. And our power spake all these words saying, I am the Lord thy God which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Are we not in bondage right now in Babylon the Great? Are we not? Bondage means captivity, which means slavery. Didn't the children of Israel go into slavery here in America? And we're still in captivity. Why? Because we're still under these curses. Okay, now, let's see. Let's get a, uh, um, um, let's get a, uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 9. I'm trying to stay focused, but I know i got to finish up a few things out of the door, outside before I head off the work here. I mean, I got time, but I just need to keep aware of the time. Deuteronomy 32 and 9. Let's go back to the top. The Song of Moses. Okay? All right? Give me a second. 
a second. Okay. Let's start at 7. Deuteronomy 32 and 7. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask my father, he will show thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. Verse, not verse 8. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, whom he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Okay? Watch this. Verse 9. For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob, 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 is the lot of his inheritance. Again, the children of Israel are the apple of his eye. Now, what I'd like to do is uh, I'm going to go on and pull this video up. And um, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna critique this video. And we're going to show you and prove some things to you. Um, I only have maybe two or three more scriptures to go over with the video. And the lesson will end, Lord willing. If it is will, it will end. Um, but let's get to it. Now, first of all, Isaiah 8 and 20 tells us that if they do not speak according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And what is the light? John 8 and 12 tells us that Yahweh Shah Hamashach spoke and said, I am the light of the world. So we know that Yahweh Shah is on the right hand side, sitting to the right hand side of our, of our Father, our Creator, Yahweh, right now as we speak in spirit. That is the righteous side. John 14, 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. So if you are keeping his commandments to the best of your ability, because we know we're under the curse. Everybody can be to do everything like they want all the time, according to Scripture, because we're not in our own land, where we will be able to keep the commandments perfectly. But, we know, uh, hold on for a second, bear with me for a second. Okay. But we know we are to keep His commandments. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you love me, do what I command you to do, basically. Keep, keep, keep my holy days. My Sabbath. Keep my solemn feast days. Passover. Day of Atonement. Feast of Tabernacles. Keep them. Now like I say, if the Day of Atonement, Passover, and um, Feast of Unleavened Bread come up and you got to work and you just can't get out of work, you can't switch and trade with nobody, hey, you're under the curse, remember? Okay. Now, this guy right here is entitled, uh, his channel is called Mark the Messenger. Great Millstone has went in on him quite a number of times. Many brothers have. But the first thing you see with this man had, look at him now. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him now. First of all, his head is covered. Okay, and the Bible says we are to not, uh, a man's head should not be covered when praying or prophesying. Now, he's not praying. And he's not prophesying because the words coming out of his mouth is totally incorrect. However, he says something in the video we're going to hear it. He's going to tell you that this man coming out. Let me give you the backdrop on the video right quick before I continue on. Uh, there's a, a policeman here, a security guard, standing here in front of the store entrance. And there is a man coming out that door. And I'm assuming that he is a gynecologist because the video is, um, is speaking to uh, one particular man saying that uh, this guy... Is going to hell. We're going to stay in the day of judgment because he is performing. Um, <coughs> he is performing. Uh, uh, what's the word I want to use? Uh, he is. He is offering those babies to Malek, the false god. Okay, and some of you are aware of what I'm speaking of, but he is. Uh, Operating in the vicinity of Yahweh Shirim Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shirim Shai says in Deuteronomy 32 39, I make alive, I kill. Okay, put that together with gynecologists, okay, and these clinics and shit. Okay, and he says, I kill, 
He says, I make alive, I kill, I wound, and I heal. It is I to do these things, and no one can deliver you out of my hand. So if this firm, or this building, or this guy in this fact, let's just catch the video real critique. Uh, sometimes I do a little too much. But uh I know I'm trying to avoid the algorithm. So let's watch the video. Hell his video done been up a while. They ain't missing his video, so let's ride it. Okay. And his video is called When You See a Man Sloppy. When you see a demon in someone. <laughs> now little do he realize there's a demon in him. I can look at him and tell. And we're gonna pull those precepts. <coughs> let's watch the video. You gotta repent, sir. You gotta repent, sir, for murdering babies. Why? Because it's a sin. Why? Well, stinky breath. Yeah, Why? that's pretty. That's pretty evil, of you sir. Yeah, yeah. Man, I hope I pray that you. Yeah. Yeah. That's a spirit. Why do you do that, man? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, I hope that you come to Christ, sir. Oh, I never go to Christ. I hope that you come to Christ. No, I don't go to Christ. Yeah, you, I don't listen to Christ. You will have a darkened heart. Sir. I do have a darkened heart. God in judgment. Yes, I will. Every day. You will stand before God in judgment. Yes, I will. Every day. All the babies that I have killed. I love it. I love it. Yeah, keep tearing the babies. Yeah, I will. Keep tearing the babies. I will. Keep, keep tearing the babies apart. Okay. It's not back into reality. The babies, their blood screams from the ground. This is crazy. Their blood screams from the ground. You are a murderer, sir. You are a murderer. Cosmic shame. Hello, officer. Okay, let's stop the video. Now, what do you see wrong with this video? It's one of the, it's one of the reasons... His hair, I mean, we'll go through the precepts and, and show you that he is not keeping the commandments of Yahweh, Shimon, Shah. You going to work or not? Yeah, I'm going to work. What time you got to be Twelve. They, they were telling me I could come in at 11 if I want for some more hours, but I'm getting my car straight out there ready for pickup and whatnot. So I'll run this little quick video. Slock it about that. Okay, now. All right. The number one problem with this video right here, right now, with this issue is this... Uh, I'm assuming man of color that is a security guard is putting in his two cents. And it's, it's his two cents. Why? Because what he's saying is in the Bible, but it's not. Why? The law is given unto who? The children of Israel. Let me ask you, and we'll pull it. Well, let me ask you a question. Was the doctor an Israelite? Hell no. I can tell you by his spirit. He's not an Israelite. He is Edom. E to the D to the O to the M to the M period. That's who he is. Are they not the soy? The Lord has chosen them people, his people, himself, in the blue uniform, to be a soil upon the children of Israel. So he is technically operating in his life. He's doing what he was created to do. He is the wicked. You ever seen the devil go around saving any damn body from any damn thing? Hell no. You, and you never seen that? Okay, now let's get that. Romans 9 and 4. And we're also in another thing. Uh, he's at work. He's in the vicinity of work. He could lose his job right now because the man work at the clinic. He out there to keep the peace. Shit, is he keeping the peace? No, he's stirring up contention. That is out of order. 1 Corinthians 14, 4, so let all things be done decently and in order. I'm not going to go out to the highways and hit us and, 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 and some people come across the street and, and the security guard walking off and I just start a damn mass confusion. People run across the street saying they two cents. Some people look like they about to throw something at me. Next thing you know, somebody get hit. Why? Because I'm out of order. Okay, now, let's get, um, and this ain't going to be nothing long, but I just wanted to show you. These are the things that you got to be looking at. These are the things you see in your everyday life. This is discernment. The Holy Spirit will help you discern whether or not these people are of the righteous. He's going to, he's going to discern whether, he's going to help you discern whether or not they are weak. The, are they of the righteous? But he's also going to discern, will help you discern what they are about. And this man here is about contention. Okay? Why? Because this guy on the security uniform. Because that man in that blue uniform that works at that clinic is not under the law. Only the children of Israel are under the law. Let's get it. Romans 9 and 4. And then we'll attack this guy in the blue in a minute. Now. Romans 9 and 4. Let's get it. Everybody.
everybody under the law. You know, these commandments were not given to everyone. They were given to you, to the children of Israel. Let's get Romans 9 and 4. <coughs> Romans. Oh, shit, I don't never get that right. Romans 9 and 4. These are the, it's, it's commandments like this. Laws and scriptures like this will help give you out of, <coughs> they'll help you keep, keep you out of harm's way. But you have to know the commandments. How you gonna know the commandments? Second Timothy two fifteen. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed of this gospel, rightly dividing the word of truth. We must read and study daily. Uh, I was fortunate enough, for I was blessed to get up very very early this morning before the sun even came across the horizon, and I took that time to get some reading in, and 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 I spent some great beautiful time communing and supping and dining with the Holy Spirit. By way of Yahweh, but she was shot. Now, let's get this at Romans 9 and 4. Okay, let's get it. Okay. Now, you notice it is called solicitude for Israel. Solicitude for Israel. Before we begin, let's define the word solicitude. I mean, words like solitary come to mind. Okay, that's over there by itself. Okay, now, let's get it. <coughs> Again, the chapter is entitled, is entitled Solicitude for Israel. Let's hear it. Solicitude. <coughs> okay. And it says... Care or concern for someone or something. Okay. All right. Let's look at a few. <coughs> Seven names. Concern. Care. Attentiveness. Mindfulness. Consideration. Thoughtfulness. Okay. Now, let's go back. We'll catch that precept. And precept of scriptures. Okay, so this truth for Israel. Okay, let's start the first verse. I say the truth in Hamashiach. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit, the Rakakodash. We say that because ghost is a demon. It's a wicked spirit. Okay, now. Verse 2, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Verse 3, for I could wish that myself what occurs from Hamashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen according to flesh. Verse 4. Who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants. So the covenants, the covenants only deal with the children of Israel. And the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Yahweh Hamashiach came, who is over all God blessed forever. So the giving of the law and the service of our power, your teachers and preachers, elder bishops, are who? The children of Israel. According to Romans 9 and 4, and for those of us who say, ha ha. We in the New Testament. Well, that scripture came out the New Testament. Let me guess. You skipped over that scripture and kept reading? Or you skipped that chapter? I mean, hello. Hello. Now. Okay, so that man is not, that man in that medical scrub uniform is not under the law. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not kill is, is who? Children of Israel. Isn't that the law? Who's under the law? Children of Israel. Is he an Israelite? Hell no. You might say, well, he might be confused in faith. His whole attitude, when that man was talking to him, let me know that he has pride. He don't give a damn. So where is the spirit of Yahweh Shimon Shah in that? The Bible says in Isaiah 57, 15, that the Lord will draw nigh. Let's get it. We're almost done. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Isaiah. 57, I'm glad I drink them two bottles of water. 
Sorry, I too moving. So dehydrated, everybody. You can the sound of my voice. You know I've been sick and I'm recovering. Recovering very well, might I add. Um, thanks to y'all, but you know, shot. Let's go, let's get it, man. <coughs> let's get it. <coughs> Isaiah 57, 15. For thus said the high and lofty one. Who is the lofty one? You see that capital O? Okay, that's the top of the top of the top of the top of the top. Can't go no higher. For thus said the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy. See that capital H? Okay. I dwell in the high and holy place with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit. To revive the spirit of the humble, Ezekiel chapter 37, and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. Contrite or broken hearted. Let's define that as well. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to begin to shut it down because I need to work this on a few minutes. Define contrite. <clears throat> Contrite Feeling or expressing Remorse Or parentage By uh, Hold on uh, that's like let, Let's read that again Feeling or expressing remorse Or <laughs> Or penitence Affected By guilt Okay So The elect The ones that will repent are going to feel guilty that we have not kept the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Shem Shai, that we just kept sinning and sinning and sinning. We didn't give a damn about nothing. And we was in Babylon the Great, and we, we, we was living according to the pride of life, the lust of the eyes. We were doing whatever the hell we want to do. We wasn't thinking about no law. Okay? So they feel guilty. So they have repented and returned back to Yahweh Shem Shai, Jeremiah three fourteen, return, O backsliding Israel. So one script, one verse says, "Return, you wayward children, return unto me." Okay, return unto me, O backsliding Israel, for you are married unto me. How are we married unto him? Because he has chosen us to be a people above all the people of the earth. Remember how we started? Deuteronomy thirty two thirty nine. Slaki. Deuteronomy thirty two and nine. And Deuteronomy 76. Okay? Alright? Yahweh Shem Shah has made an agreement with the children of Israel by way of Abraham. Because the seed comes out of Isaac. Isaac comes out of Abraham. Do, do we not? Okay? <coughs> <coughs> now, let's get to this guy here. Uh, 1 Corinthians 11. See, you, you can automatically tell. Okay? You can automatically tell when you see somebody whether or not they are of our Lord. Come on, come on, come on, man. Are they over there, somebody? Are they, are they over there selling wolf ticket? Hey, man, here's selling wolf ticket. Let's get it right quick. First Corinthians. Now, his head is covered, like I stated. He's not speaking according to Scripture. But he says this guy is a demon. So you have already... You have already have already made a decision that this guy is a wicked spirit. Is he really a wicked? He is a wicked spirit. But you are speaking that a hundred percent sure. You don't have no scriptures according to Isaiah 28, 9, 10, and thirteen to prove what you say. First Thessalonians five twenty one. Prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. I mean, hold it to to something that is good and righteous. And we know that every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights. James one seventeen. So if that be the case, and that is the way it is, and that is really the way it is, then you don't have no scriptures. He is not living according to the commandments of Yahweh, Hashem, and Shah. Who is the damn wicked spirit? I'm going to tell you, all three of them are wicked spirits. One is uh, 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 Idumia, but he's operating in his life. Is he not the salt? He's operating in his life. The security man, man here, he got no Bible, he read no scriptures. He's at work providing security to that facility. Anybody who might want to come up there and saw some damn ruckus, and he's starting ruckus. Somebody need to come remove his ass. Okay? Now, let's get this, uh, we'll be going here. First, um, God dang it. Oh, where was I going? Where was I going? Where was I going? Uh, oh, 
First Corinthians chapter 11. Allah was the wali, Yahweh, the call, Allah, Yilam, Allah, Yahweh, Shem, Yisha. Now you run your mouth, you're off track, can't remember. Okay, it says Christian order. <coughs> but we know this book is written to the children of Israel, so this is the order of the Israelites. Okay, now, let's get 1 Corinthians 11, uh, there we go right there, 1 Corinthians 11 and 4, every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonors his head. Who, who is the head of a man? Yahweh Shah, Hamashah. Y'all call him Jesus Christ, but that's who he is. Okay, that's his real name. Now, all right, now, let's also get verse, uh, we get in, seven, in verse 7. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much as he is the image and the glory of God, but the woman is the glory of the man. Let's keep on. We're we, 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 we almost finishing. First, uh, First Corinthians 11, verse 14. Does not even nature itself teach you that if a man have long hair, it is a shame unto him? Now, he's supposed to be working for the Lord. But he's sitting up here with his head covered. Okay, and like I said, he's not praying or prophesying according to Scripture, according to commandments. So we can, we, we, we can let that slide off to the side a little bit, but I wanted to bring it up. That's what I did and prove it with Scripture. And then he got a long ass head. Uh, yeah, he got them damn, not, y'all call them dreads. They're not dreads, they twists. Okay? And that is not of Yahweh Shemim Shah. That is a custom of India. Okay? Uh, do we live in India? Hell no. That's the tribe of Elam. We are the, we are the nation of Israel. So I ain't got shit to do with us. But see, Yahweh Shemim Shah says, he, he, put, he sent us into slavery. Why? Because we didn't want to keep the commandments. And we wanted to serve other gods. So you are serving a god, a false god, a false pagan god, belonging to the tribe of Elam, which are the Indians over there near Pakistan. Okay? So he, he already got, I mean, come on now. So he said, it's a demon he's trying to size on. Now I'm a, it's a demon in all three of y'all. Because ain't none of y'all living according to the, the, the words of Yahweh Shemim Shah. I do me is not under the law. Only the children of Israel are under the law. And as you can see, he is out of order. I hope this lesson has been edifying. If it has, it come through the honor, glory, and power of Yahweh Shemim Shah by Shem Rekafudash. Funny thing is, that scripture is in the New Testament. What is it? These people get to start these ministries online. They don't read no scripture. They be all over the place. Give it, and see... You got people coming up that don't know no better. And they are, yeah, this and that and the other. They don't like to read. Everybody can't read all the time. Okay? But they get into this, and, 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 and they don't know what the hell going on, and they don't have no teacher to prove. And guess what? In the end, nuclear missile come down. They see the chairs. The chairs beam up their leg, and, and, and gone. And guess what they Oh, Lord, please don't leave me here. Please don't. Please don't take, well, please. You haven't done anything. And guess what? Before I came down the truth, I began to read. Because I knew I had a, a, a calling for ministry. I just didn't know what. Okay? But I also knew I didn't want to get into a conversation with somebody. And we talking about Daniel and the Lions then. And, and I'm just like, uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. Uh-huh, you're right. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but see, and if somebody asked me a question, I got that look on my face like a deer in the headlight, because I don't know. And I don't, and I don't know. That's why you got to read. Again, hope this has edifying. It has come to the honor, glory, and power of the Howard, Mishim, Shab, Mishim, Kakudash. Double honors to the elders and possible great millstone who rule well. Peace and tight to hope for the light. Shalom.